I'm at it again. Yep, another video this time. Hopefully I'll get some painting done. A little more painting, a little less conversation, a little more painting. So, you guys that are peering in or peering in, uh, um, you know, of your own accord, and, uh, you know, I promise that in future episodes I'll be more exciting than I am right now. Because a lot of what I say is meant to put the future me to sleep. So I can't imagine what it's doing for the present you guys. The current you guys. Uh -huh. So I was I was just thinking about how a higher dimensional entity could cross into a lower dimension. And I sat there and I thought, okay, if you take a piece of paper and you roll it up, you know, then you've gone from a plane, 2D to 3D. And then if you puncture a hole in the tube and you stick a pencil in and you draw a design on the other side, like a spiral, and then poke a hole through the other side, that would be like, like a 3D object coming in, moving around. You know, people say that 40 is time. But, but a fifth dimensional creature, a fifth or higher dimensional entity moving in our current four dimensional space that's that's what's boggled my mind. That's what I don't know how to wrap my head around exactly because it's yeah, that's the um, that's the big in there. How to explain the how to I mean you got people on here trying to do their ad hoc physics. And they're just looking at the world that's accepted by mainstream science. And I'm proposing that there's a legitimate metaphysic, a legitimate supernatural, a legitimate knowledge to science that's greater than the current mainstream. And it, it rubs up against it. And that's a problem. But what I was thinking was kind of like, kind of like seeing the orb was kind of like taking a, a Rubik's Cube and then getting in the bathtub with the Rubik's Cube and sticking your head underwater and opening your eyes so you can you can see like your pupil goes half underwater and half out half in water half out water and and then you dip the rubik's cube corner into the water and it's seeing that 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 corner like magnify underneath the water and then dipping your whole head underneath the water and dipping it in, you can't see, at from a certain angle, you can't see the hovering Rubik's Cube because of the reflection of the surface of the water. All you see is this pointed entity sticking in the water. And that's what it was like to, to see an orb. It was like something was peeking in from another way of existence and on the atomic level I mean supposedly there's so much space between molecules or not between molecules between uh, nuclear elements protons neutrons 
etc., etc. But there's more space in there that wouldn't it be possible for an advanced entity or species or another dimension of ourselves in a different plane echoing back upon itself in this plane or maybe it has nothing to do with ourselves in another dimension but but or anything that's anthropomorphic but just another type of entity that has the intelligence to move through current spatial current current natural space what, what we it's weird I want to call it natural space our current four four dimensions of space as we honor it as we teach our kids about and we, we teach them that there's no more than that or you know in some cases we do you know people it's kind of a case for theism and that's why I call it a higher power that's why I say my atheism is shucked off of me is because upon seeing this it was like climbing swimming out in the ocean while it's raining and seeing all the rain come down in one way, but then sitting there and imagining that the drops can only bounce off of the surface of the water so high. They only bounce off, you know, some, some variance of, you know, a half centimeter to three inches, a single drop, and it's that gap that's floating along these waves, which by in and of themselves are all moving based on sporadic motions underneath the water, but they're all relative, you know, in, in a certain locale, a certain province of the ocean, if you will. The waves are all moving in roughly the same average, you know, they're going up and down, and as a storm comes in, or as the moon moves overhead, or as there's tectonic plate movements below, or heat rising, or what have you, that is, you know, what, what sea <laughs> geologists or geographers would study. Um, the waves all move at the roughly the same same height as the ones next to them. And it, it's it's this idea of the the randomness underneath the water meaning or maybe I shouldn't call it randomness, but I should call it complexity of, of movement underneath the water that causes these waves to show up at all. And, ah, uh, did I mention I'm hopped up on muscle relaxants and pain meds, etc.? All they would give me is muscle relaxants. But, the brace isn't squeezing off my blood too much, and God knows this painting needs to needs a lot done on it. But it's it's so it's that that difference between the top of the ocean and how high the drip flies up on average of all drips. And and the difference between a placid ocean and a wavy ocean. The, the heights and the peaks of those wavy oceans. It, it's as if they're all little pyramids, they're all little corners of the Rubik's Cube poking upward into airspace. All the little waves are all little corners. They're all little pyramids that, that fall upon themselves. And I guess when I think of ideologic space or conceptual space, 
I think there's mechanisms to describe things that are based in imagination that that follow in unorthodox patterns and unorthodox ways and that humanity is just discovering what it means to play with different models of of physics but I don't know where it's going to stem you know I don't I don't know where it's stemming from on all fronts but <laughs> it's like uh, I, I my understanding was that there was already a security system that falsified quantum mechanics by via electrons that a certain what is it amperage or voltage I'm not an electrician or maybe it was volt amperage voltage wattage um, but whatever the volume is I guess that's an amp maybe um, that the, the same exact amount of of amperage that goes through a particular security system wiring system is measured on the other side beyond where the data is and if it's lesser than if somebody peeks in and observes observes the motion of those those electrons through the wire then one of them escapes and if one of them escapes then the readout on the other end of the wire is different and they know there's been a breach in the security system and that this was done based on knowledge of quantum mechanics now how they're exactly tied together I couldn't tell you I, I won't even speculate power cable to my computer so I had to go get a new one of those in the back store good friend and patron of mine maybe I should say a bad friend a bad friend and a patron of mine told me that my problem basically would just be solved if I just paint it <laughs> like don't do anything other than paint that's what he wants me to do and I thought well that would take away from reading time and that would take away from from ooh, cramp, cramp, cramp. Oh. it would take away from all my YouTube staring time all my newfound ass sitting time neck resting time So I'm supposed to be journaling my 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 pain. For some form of compensation. Oh, drugs are good. sound was just coming from outside my condo and I thought for a second that it was coming from my computer it's 
so yeah, like the least, there's a lot of crazy ideas and experiences that people have, and the least crazy of the ideas is the first one to be accepted. It's, it's the one that a rational person should put forth if they're trying to maintain their, their sense of reason and rationability. And I know that per Perot's really busted me on that ration, but I mean measurement. I mean measurement of, of, of sanity as if your sanity fits in a space, in a box, in a direction. Oh. 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 And I mean it. If your sanity faces in a direction, go on me, go on me. Ow. I'm a different man than I used to be. be Well, I thought it was a good song. Okay, okay. Guess we're back to Browns. Oh, but my head feels like it's gonna pop. Yeah, they're cute. Which is skin color? Normally green. Medusa's. Medusa's skin color is green. Okay, okay, but it's Cerebus. Cerebuses are brown. Everybody knows that. Everybody knows that cerebruses are brown. We wouldn't want to go against that kind of knowledge. That kind of mainstream knowledge. All three-headed dogs are brown. So, is it easier to believe that dinosaurs turned into coal or oil? Or is it easier to believe that man walked on the planet with dinosaurs and so the creationist museum is is peculiar in what it plays on playing on the idea that that it is a young earth, and then what would it mean to see movies depicted as if as if we were from a young earth? You know, big blockbusters. That the Flintstones is really the 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 secret <laughs> that they had it right the whole time. And why would Dinosaur bone. The, why? Why would it? Why would it also become a, a petroleum product like plants? I mean, what what happened exactly with the decayed flesh? And and what's up with that that footprint of the human walking aside a dinosaur footprint being in in some lava somewhere? I better look that up. I better watch my coffee with Claire. And go back a few of her videos. If she does an expose explanation on just such things. Good thing coffee's with Claire is there. She's an interesting lesbian. Or maybe she's not. Okay. Well, that took forever. That probably took me five minutes just to paint that guy. 
you can see, this side is a much less action-packed than the other side. So it's not so much that I can't twist my head slowly, it's twisting it fast that's a problem. And it's it's nodding. It's going forward and backward like that hurts. Even like the centimeter I can move my head in this brace really hurts the spinal column right between the, the vertebrae and then in a spot down below my back. Uh, I didn't want to sit on here. I need to tough it out and make a cool video. <laughs> and it must be a logical video. Because my viewers only want logical videos. Mm. Unless they're fun. Unless they're fun. Unless my videos turn out to be lots of fun. I didn't realize really until I watched some YouTube videos how much I hold my drawing arm with my other hand. I didn't know I was doing that. It's just a habit that's been going on, I guess, for so long, and you even don't even register it. Boom, 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 boom. I almost want this clown to look like a marionette. Let's do some marionette on it. I guess green. It's green is the color of my sunshine's skin. Green is the color of my lover's skin. Ooh. Ooh. How? How is it possible for there to be an algorithm that that and figure out when you're being sarcastic or not. And and have it work ninety five percent of the time. I mean is it just looking for people saying, Oh yeah, right. Or shucks, I could have thought of that. Wait, that wouldn't be sarcastic, right? Green is the color of my Medusa skin. Scooby -doo 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 -doo. Yep, already this video is shaping up to be a lot better than the last one. I'm off to a run and start. They sound pretty good. Not too bad. Of course, what it is I'm painting is neat. The blood I was painting the last one. Death to blood.
not even though I've seen it once, it's still possible that we all die in the end. Oh, 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 I just hope the heaven hell binary isn't a real one. Or that you get a rain check on the hell part. And you know, big deal. You never have to cash in that is. Or uh yeah, yeah. Or, or I hope that there is no afterlife, and that when you die, you just cease, just come to your end of your mortal coil. And that's the atheistic point of view that sure is. But when I felt my world surround me and guide me and possess me and move me as if, as if I was in a pyramid that was the, the, the tip of a Rubik's Cube that is dipped into some other dimension upon my death in some geometric sense of confinement. I felt, I felt as if I was inside of an intelligent environment instead of a mundane environment. And the only reason I say it was intelligence is because it felt as if it was guiding me perfectly and naturally. And it also felt, well, it's not what it felt. It, um, I mean, I was in a, a whole bowl of, ball of emotion when this happened. But it was what it led me to, that red googly star in the sky. The fact that it led me to something that was like the orb. But that I just didn't grab after it. That's the problem. That's why I feel like Philip K. Dick. Somebody that's been on the other side. Oh, I wrote stories about it. Except for my, my artwork feels like uh, navigating, I'm navigating a fiction in my mind. Like I didn't conceive this whole hell in a single vision and put it together, nor, nor did I conceive of heaven that way. It's more like this is the end product of letting the pencil draw what it's going to draw. And so because of that, my hell is very mundane. Yep, yep, it's a mundane hell. But if you follow certain color patterns, you can start seeing different shapes, start connecting the dots. But some of them are a little obscure, where other ones seem to seem to nicely tie to one another. It's a hard knock life. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, oh, oh. It's a hard knock life. Uh oh, uh oh. This is my first anti-natalist video. It's a hard knock life. You suffer then you die. It's a hard knock life. That's all we really got to say. Does we think we got the whole equation worked out in our heads? We don't even know how much does poo case the term equation when describing our lives. Like there is an equation, like just the meme of calling our lives an equation. 
or the circumstances of our lives an equation. I mean, where do people get off calling our life an equation? As if everything is, as if mathematics is something floating out there. I'm not saying that it couldn't be that way, but I'm saying that the use of saying equation, as if there's a literal mathematical equation running over my hand now. I mean, this is the same old tired argument I got into with Amanda when he was in one of my paint chat things, and we were talking about, you know, how many different elements are there in this painting or in this video of this painting. You know, where is my hand in relationship to everything? Where is my voice relative to where your eye is focusing? What are all the possible connections? What is what does an, uh, an complete equation look like? What does it even mean? Unless he's referring to a metaphysic, uh, of another universe that has mathematics laying across it that somehow lays across this universe. I mean, which is really peculiar that I say that, and, and yet I could argue for a matrix, because a matrix at least is built off of something, perhaps, you know, the depiction in the movie, the matrix, is all numbers, ones and zeros, or little codex. Oh, my pack is screaming. It just feels like it's going to pop. I catch myself. a lot because we got them on the spot. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Well, I wanted to paint the fish, but, but, just kind of worried about the color. Red fish, blue fish, green fish, two fish. Paint them blue. Blue fish. Just block that sucker in. Hey, kit cat. Little lily puppy. Little meow meow. Yeah, so there was this Buddha quote I was reading, you know, all life is suffering, and I'm sitting there thinking, you know, I, I've spent so much of my life not suffering, and then I spent oh, so much of my life suffering, that there's plenty of life that is life that is not all suffering, and so I thought, well, I'm not really like the Buddha that way, but then I sat there and I thought, well, my life is now suffering, Getting in a car wreck, besides self-damage, the weirdest thing was to get in a car wreck and not actually have the damage to my own body be my fault. That's what screws with my head. And so my life becomes suffering and sufferable, but when I see little children play and or people having fun, I realize they're not really suffering. Or if they are, they're, they're like me. It's just a nerve that's going off that you got to kind of just deal with. You just kind of let it keep going off. 
don't know. Maybe it's time to go lay down. It's probably time to go lay down. I keep telling myself when I do these, like, oh, you got an hour in you. You definitely got an hour in you. Don't sweat it. But I feel I feel my neck pain is getting worse, not better. And then sometimes I'm like, well, maybe it's getting better. It's just so early to tell. It so fluctuates based on my new movements. Movements I don't do that often. I don't know. It's really peculiar. Pain is such a peculiar thing. Yeah, it's almost like pain is in a different dimension. Pain is in a different dimension, but when it matches this one at the same harmonics as this one, then then it's acute and unbearable. And when it's farther away, say I want to say farther instead of further because you know further is implying no no need for distance, so it is correct to say further, but I want to say farther like I'm at a distance from the most acute pain and our resonance from it, a wave pattern from it is is sliding through my 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 body parts of my body. Yeah, that's the thing about burning in hell, or burning, not in hell, but just burning, is you're just increasing the wave pattern. You're you're causing more action. Things are more activated. They're they're revved up. They're more dissolved. I don't know. That orb was so glowing softly. It was such the softest. It was like the most solid cloud, spherical, perfect spherical cloud, with what looked like a gelatin, like a transparent ghostly gelatin supporting that that Mobius, not Mobius strip, but that belt going through it. And it was definitely not a Mobius strip, it was that one plane wrapped back around itself. That's what I think. I think I saw on there. All I can do is depict it the best I can remember it. And I get to a point where I don't even know if I should be expressing these memories anymore, or should I just let it go? Ah. Yep, the heat's on. The heat's on the spine right now, that's for sure. Oh, only another, only another week wearing this brace, unless my doctor tells me I'm going to need it longer. Yeah, so I was I was saying uh, pain being at a farther distance resonating towards you at a certain frequency, and it's like the heat has been raised in my body in this relationship to the pain, which somehow as if the pain is is sourced from somewhere else other than from inside of myself. And it's weird to say that. Because conventionally we, we look at pain as being sourced, 
you know, from inside the body. And nothing tells us otherwise, or little tells us otherwise. But if you think of a higher dimensional entities or intelligences that are moving, then it's not a far stretch to think about angels or spirits or ghosts. But I'm, I don't, I'm not going to argue for those any longer. It's not that I don't have a belief in this. Well, maybe I will if the occasion arises. Okay. Ibuprofen. I'm going to go take one of those fat old 8 mil, 800 milligrams of ibuprofen. Flop a cat. Flop a cat. A lot of people can say they think they have the greatest parents, but I think they have great parents. If they're not really great, then they're pretty, pretty damn gnarly great. guys just do damn near anything on my behalf or for me. Uh. Yeah, even just standing up straight is a bit of a relief from sitting down. So, I guess I'm going to call this one short. Call that uh, done. 42 minutes. How'd I do? Tell me in the comments below. <laughs> uh.